Now, if you're frustrated with slow internet speeds, then this story is for you. A village between Cardiff and Newport has gone from being a broadband not spot to having some of the fastest speeds, not just in Wales, but the world. After years of problems getting online, people living in the small village of Mickleston of Edu have taken matters into their own hands, as Jordan Davis explains. Until recently, if Saskia and Megan wanted to watch a film or programme, they could have to wait a speedy three days for it to download. I struggle to really download like the journals I need, the articles I need. I've got to go into uni to download them just to bring them home to read. Well, a film, we'd have to at least give it a day and a night. Three from 60, please. And in the lovely local pub, cash used to be king, as the card machine didn't always work. Running a business in the village, as Barry does as a web developer, was almost impossible. Occasionally we would get dropouts as well, so we would have internet go off. Recently in the, in the bank holiday we had the internet off for four days, which obviously for me is a, a quite, quite a poor performance. But no more. Villagers here were so unhappy with the slow internet speeds they were getting, they decided to take matters into their own hands. And now they're the fastest village in Wales. In fact, these are some of the fastest internet speeds in the world. The bar at the top shows the internet speed now. The bar at the bottom is what they used to have. To get there, local farmers pitched in to dig trenches for fibre optic cables. Volunteers laid the cables. This is a piece of fibre that goes into people's homes. And Karina here has become known as the Splice Queen. With no prior knowledge, she's put her sewing skills to use and learned how to splice fibre optic cables. And there we have a spliced fibre joint. This is the business end, and it means the village now has ultra-fast broadband. A splice bullet. David, a former plumber, is the brains behind the operation. It's totally free to proof. So how fast could it, could it get? Well, potentially 100 gigabit. Um, in the future, possibly even 1,000. Um, but we could actually run it at 10 gigabit today if we wanted. Because of the success here, the £150,000 the village raised to pay for the work will be reimbursed by the Welsh Government. It says 9 out of 10 premises in Wales are able to access super-fast broadband, but some argue they've been left behind. Nearby villages are now asking whether they can do it themselves. Jordan Davis there.